Hello, dear traders, you're watching Daily Financial News on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. Monday was marked by a decrease in forex trading volume. Two European currencies are braced for a crucial week for the UK. The UK's divorce from the European Union is scheduled for April 12. Brussels is ignoring Theresa May's request for a further Brexit delay until June 30. The deal is not agreed, meaning there is a risk for the hard Brexit. According to Jeremy Wright, the Culture Secretary, the British government will continue talks with the Labour Party today. To win the opposition's support, the Prime Minister can offer to remain in a permanent customs union with the EU. Today, during early European trades, the pound-dollar pair gained 0.2% and was trading in the green zone around 1.3060, higher from the previous close. On Friday, sterling fell after France and the Netherlands expressed doubts about May's plans for a further delay of Brexit. The pound slightly changed, paired with the euro, trading at 1.1627. The dollar on Monday continues to be weighed down by the sell pressure, mainly due to a drop in treasury yields. In response to this, the euro-dollar pair is showing no solid momentum. At the beginning of the session, the major pair was trading with a slight gain at 1.1236, staying close to the last week's lows. There are not many economic data releases to follow, so the euro-dollar pair trading activity may remain a week. Germany's trade surplus rose to 17.9 billion euros, compared with 14.6 billion euros in January. On a yearly basis, the trade surplus declined by 2%. The single currency did not react to the data release. It looks like traders have another reason for concern. The US-China negotiations and other factors have become less interesting for the market. This week, investors will focus on Europe. Brexit is expected to be one of the key issues. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you back soon.